Hi, this is Brian Fogarty, and this is a video for Chapter 8 of the book Quantitative Social Science Data with R, 2nd edition. In this video, what we're going to do is look at creating a histogram that has two variables in it. So this is what we did previously in the previous video with just one, where we had percent to press on the x-axis here. This time, we're going to include the urban variable um, to see how the histogram looks when we break up uh, the values by urban and rural data zones. Okay, so we're going to start. It's going to be very similar to what we did before. It's actually less tricky than the fancy one we did for um, the bar plot with two variables. Here we're going to do SIMD. This is the same as what we did before. We're taking out the missing value for percent to press. Okay, we're going to include ggplot, keep it open because we have the data previously, then we have geome histogram, and then mapping equals AES, percent underscore depress, and then we are going to include the urban factor as fill. So fill equals urban underscore FCT and then we're going to set the bin width bin width it's good if I could spell it bin width there we go equal to one and then we're going to include some labels dress it up a little bit make it all all nice looking all right um, so we have actually I'm going to end bin oh oops hold on a second almost there we are going to include labels here and actually indenting this there we go so labs and then um, x equals percentage prescribed psychiatric medication it's kind of a mouthful isn't it um, on the y-axis we're just going to do frequency just could be count that would work as well. Um, I'm going to include a title and psychiatric, what do they call it? Psychiatric medication, medication, um, let's see, by urban rural data zone. That works. And then for the fill, we're going to say community type and this is just referring to the urban or rural data zone oh, types okay I think that's good we could add more stuff to it to dress it up a little bit more but I think that works here let's highlight this run that okay all right so this is where we get um, Looking at this, one of the main points or things to point out is that these bars here, these different colors, these are stacked on each other. They're not superimposed. So, for instance, uh, the bluish color here, this is urban up to here, and then this pink red is rural. So they're not superimposed on one another. Um, they're just, the values are stacked up on one another. And so, you know, one of the one of the issues with that is that sometimes it's difficult to figure out how these, you know, how this the the second variable is different. Um, and so, I actually don't like really using histograms for two variables. I like to use the density plots, which we're going to look at in the next video, um, just because they're easy. I think they're easier to see what the distribution looks like. How the second variable, the values are different um, within that. But it's still the case that we often use um, histograms, at least for um, single variables. Um, I use them a lot with when I'm working with count data just to get a quick look at what the data, what the data looks like, like what the distribution looks like. All right, so that's it for this video. Um, it's just a short one. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.